things bigger in Texas, that includes barbecue. Today, I'm in my hometown of Austin, Texas to talk to you about barbecue, but not any kind of barbecue, Texas barbecue. When it comes to Texas barbecue, Texas can be roughly divided into four regions. Each region bringing their own flavor to the party. Out in West Texas, pitmasters readily rely on mesquite wood for their barbecue. In South and East Texas, it's all about chopped and saucy. Whereas here in Central Texas, we primarily use pecan and oak wood. To really understand how each region plays a factor in Texas barbecue, we have to look back to our ancestors, the immigrants who settled in the area. Out in West Texas, the higher heat used to cook barbecue can be attributed not only to the mesquite wood, but also to the cowboys cooking over an open fire on cattle drives up to Oklahoma. In South Texas, they took inspiration from a Mexican style of cooking barbecue, barbacoa, where you wrap meat, primarily a cow's head, in damp leaves and bury it in a pit over hot coals uh, to cook for a long period of time. In East Texas, we get inspiration from the African American settlers that settled in the area after the Civil War. Typically, they couldn't get access to higher quality cuts of meat, and so they would use poorer cuts of meat and then after they were done cooking, add sauces and spices to spice up their barbecue, which leads us to the chopped beef that we have today. When it comes to barbecue as we know it today, Central Texas gets all the glory. We take our inspiration from Czech and German settlers who own butcher shops along the Chisholm Trail here in Central Texas. And what did these butchers bring to the table? The process of smoking meat that the butchers would often smoke their leftover meats to preserve them for another day. Combined with the rich farmlands and the migratory workers that we had in the area, and that African Americans typically weren't allowed in many of the restaurants at the time, the African Americans and migratory workers would head over to the butcher shops at dinner time to get their meal. The butchers would wrap their order in butcher paper, and they'd also grab other things like bread, onions, and maybe a couple of pickles to enjoy with their meal. While the butcher shops are gone and have given rise to established restaurants, the 150-year-old tradition of wrapping smoked meat in butcher paper can still be seen on display here at Cooper's Old Time Pit Barbecue, one of my favorite barbecue shops in Austin. Let's go in and have a feast. Much like the barbecue shops of yesteryears, at most Texas barbecue establishments, you're going to walk up to either a counter or as is the case here at Cooper's, an actual barbecue pit to place your order. But remember, in Texas, beef is king. And if you're a first timer, you must get the brisket. Brisket comes in two cuts, lean and moist. Well, I prefer the moist. If you're uncertain, order them both. You just can't go wrong with Texas brisket. Additionally, if you find yourself lucky enough to be at Cooper's, I would strongly suggest getting a pork chop. It's moist, it's tender, it's oh so delicious. You will never look at pork chops the same. After placing your meat order, it's time to decide on sides. While the traditional options of bread, sliced onions, and pickles are still available today, Many more sides have been added to satisfy your hunger. Choose a side or two that looks good, but whatever you choose, save room for cobbler. While no longer cooked in Dutch ovens along the cattle drive, this classic cowboy dessert is always a great ending to an outstanding meal. There you have it folks, what a delicious meal. I hope to see each of you out on the trail looking for the next great barbecue establishment. Oh, you're still here. I expected you to have clicked off by now. But since you stayed, here are a few outtakes for your enjoyment. I'm everything bigger in Texas! That includes barbecue! I'm here in my hometown of Austin, Texas to talk to you I'm at barbecue. <laughs> We're in South and East Texas. It's all about, I don't care. Yeah! <laughs>
these can't all suck, right? right. <laughs> when it comes to central tech. <laughs> Freaking Americans. Oh, so close. Let it roll. Well, barbecue. Well, the. <laughs> Dock the sign over. Well, the check in. While the Czech and German butchers gave rise to established reds. I'm so sorry. You're good. I'm, sorry. I, I'm terrible at what I'm doing. You're good. The 150 year old tradition of wrapping butchers. God bless America.